Uh, Ooh. What's up? I just don't like the look of knight c4, b4, and b5. Okay, so he goes knight c4, step one in, in your... Uh, how do you stop this, actually? Yeah, no, let me just show why this is so dangerous. After b4, you have to stay on this diagonal, which means your only move is bishop a7. But now b5 comes with great effect. Mm -hmm. And if you take, goodbye. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's curtains after b6. That's how fast this happens. Sorry to cut I... you off there. I just... No, no, it's a good line. How dangerous this was. So Fabio went rook e8, and after b4, he'll have to move his bishop back on the to f8. So now knight b6 doesn't come with a fork. That's the big mm -hmm. uh, thing here. That's why the rook left a8, but still b5 looks good. If you can open up the a file, your rook on a1 develops where it sits, and Argent does not need to be asked twice. He is taking command of this match. Yeah, I mean, he's just ripping Fabio apart in this endgame. Rook h to d1 could come at a very inopportune moment for black as well resting control of the d file the e5 pawn is hanging he grabs it and this is just going down the toilet for fabi in this game okay so rook d5 isn't rook takes e5 and a takes b5 dual threats they are indeed so why is the eval bar so happy with white's position hmm there must be a move here of some sort maybe b6 no the knight c8 I feel like is this there is a one case of... to be made for giving up the knight? Probably, and that's what Arjun might need to do. But this is one of those cases where having the eval bar is like, okay, a move like c4 and giving up the knight and just using the extra pawn on the queen side. But when we learn about chess, two minor pieces are better than a rook. So it's very difficult to give up rook takes e5. And he does. But he does and... it in a very interesting way. He gives Fabian out. Mm -hmm. Apparently the move was c4. That would have forced the kind of an endgame Arjun wanted. I think he might have missed rook takes d1. He did. He forgot that the rook did not have to take the knight, and now it's even material. And that means that not that mm. it's a draw, not definitively, but some of the worst is behind uh, Fabi, and he's ahead on the clock. He is, but he's taking his time there, dropping his bishop out to d6, forcing the trade of bishops, ruining white's kingside pawn structure. Black is making major improvements to his position here. B4? Knight e4, f5? Yes. Ooh. Hello. This could, this could be a double edge ending now. He plays, plays f5 five? immediately. And what's he doing? Because fg, oh. knight e4. Argent definitely playing for a win. Look at what he's doing. He's trying to force Fabi into calculating, and he's doing a good job of it. Fabi down to 30 seconds again. This is where he has struggled immensely in this match. Can he pull himself together? in the time scramble phase. Rook c4, though. BA and rook c4. This was a great decision by Fabiano. Now knight b5 is a big threat. Pawn to b5 looks good as well. And now it's Arjun who's down the clock. And the point of rook b1 was to prevent oh, the knight take. from jumping to b5. What a... Oof. Wait oof, a second. Committal Wait decision. Second. Knight d5? Great move. Knight e7 is the last game of the three-minute time control. Knight d5 check, and you win b4. You win b4, but white might be able to win b5 if the king sidesteps the checks adroitly. No, he takes f5. Okay. I don't know and, about that. Oh, the, knight c3 is by knight d6. And black has his outside pass pawn. Knight oh, careful now. Him. King f6? And king, king g5? g5? Or do you oh go God. knight d5? So many decisions to make. So little time to make them. He makes knight d5. He wants the b4 pawn. He's worried about he made the right decision. losing the game. Knight takes b4. Now it's largely a two-result game. Black should not be risking here at all. So where is... He goes knight c6, six. and knight takes a4, knight e5, check. You get the g4 pawn, or king g5. And if, you can, and if you can also win h5, then you have winning chances. Don't play knight e5, because knight e4, check. That would be oh, piece. so easy to blunder. He goes back to e7. King g5. Now you, I think black's winning. Gotta try it. King g4, this is... It's a two-on-one, and white's king is really far away. King takes h5. No, this is a problem for Arjun. But it's a problem for Fabi. The king gets into d6. h5, h4. Oh, he's going to give his knight up for the e-pawn at the right moment. Right. You have to wait until it gets towards e7. Play h4. Exactly play h3. what he's doing. Knight d3 now, still not over. Don't play king of three, I don't think. Play h2 I first. I think knight e5. We're going to have simultaneous promotion, but black's going to be up a knight. Right. h1. <laughs> and queasy six check wins on the spot. Oh, great cash by you. It's a winning pawn endgame. Oh, my goodness. Are we about to head to the bullet with a tied match? Amazing. It's 9-9. Nine, nine. What a win these, by Fabi. These two, when it looks like one of them is about to pull away, the other strikes back, right? Fabiano down three points in the five plus one. He wins four in a row. 
Arjun looking shaky. He wins a couple in a row, and just when it looks like Arjun has a good endgame. Remember, 